Guys, your boy Frankie here. We are doing a Star Wars tier list. Now, we might get a lot of hate or controversies in the comments, but please be civil about this. So, please, dude, we do not want any hate or anything. So, please keep it respectful in the comments. So, please sit back and relax. I'll be doing my. First, we're starting off with a new hope. Now, we have weird tiers here, you know. So, Grandmaster, Council Member, Master, Knight. Uh, so, this is the S tier and this is F tier. So, I'm gonna have to put A New Hope at Master because it's the first Star Wars movie. Now, this is like the original. I might have a garbage lightsaber fight. You know, I might have a few bad parts, but, you know, I like how uh, he introduces Obi-Wan to Luke. So, I do think that was kind of good. Attack of the Clones. This movie is really hated, but I feel like it's also here. Um, I don't know. I like this one because it has a lot of action, a better lightsaber duel, but it has garbage, garbage dialogue, and very garbage. I mean, it's not their fault for the acting. It's just the script. So the dialogue's pretty bad. It's cheesy with love story. But yeah, it's pretty good. I like the clones and stuff. Star Wars Rebels. I feel like it's 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 console member probably because this is just my opinion. I grew up watching this on TV, so it meant a lot. Like I also love the Ahsoka and Vader moments and Maul, the Inquisitors. The only characters from the main crew I really like are Ezra and Sabine, but you know, Resistance is F tier. I do not like this at all. I tried to watch like a minute of it and I just couldn't because. Also, this is set in the uh, Resistance plus uh, First Order era, and this is like my least favorite era, or one of them. So I was like, I'm not gonna watch a show about this. Return of the Jedi. No, I'm putting this in console member again because this movie, the Emperor gets thrown on the reactor shaft, which is the best part. No, I'm just joking, but that was a good part. Uh, Vader got redeemed and he got turned to light side by his son, which is, you know, one of the most important moments. Also, uh, I do like how, um, you know, I like the Ewoks. People don't like the Ewoks in this movie, but I thought it was kind of cool how, uh, they took down the Stormtroopers. Tell you better. Revenge of the Sith is, you already know it, Grandmaster. This movie is just, I don't like it because, I don't like it because it's dark, but I just like it because there's so much action and so much emotion. Like Those are the two things that bring this up here. The lightsaber duel is incredible. The dialogue is way better than the first two prequels, and very good. My one of my favorite lines from this movie is, "Is you have become the very thing you swore to destroy," which Obi Wan says to Anakin. I think it's beautiful, and it's how Anakin turns down flame, which is one of the most important moments. Rogue One is also a grandmaster. The main reason I put, uh. Maybe, should I move this? I don't know. Mm. Uh, sorry guys, no, but I have a thing that's like over here. Anyway, Rogue One is such a good movie. It's one of the most important parts of Star Wars. Where, you know, that's how, it's the origin of the Death Star plans, which, you know, I never thought about in The New Hope, but this leads to this. I mean, no, this leads to this. So, it's like cool, so cool to tie up. And I love Chira Imwe, the blind guy that can just destroy everyone. But yeah. Solo. This movie was okay, but, you know, um, I just thought it was, like, I like Han Solo, but he's not my favorite, so I didn't really, you know, I didn't really care too much. To get this out of the way, we're also putting this here, because, you know, <laughs> number one, it's just kind of a weird movie. Rose Tico was kind of unnecessary, the Canto Bite was too. Also, um, you know, the Snoke thing was a bit weird too. Also... Uh, I would be hated if I put this anywhere higher, so yeah. Clone Wars movie is not that... It's bad, but it's I think it's better than these two down here. Because, you know, it's the Clone Wars. It built up to the Clone Wars TV show. Uh, now we have the Clone Wars actual show. Now this is just gonna be up here. Because it's such a good show. I just can't go over the fact this is such a good show. Any episode that has Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan, which is most of the episodes, is very good. 
Also, uh, those episodes with Maul and, you know, the Emperor are really good, especially when he got into action. Fighting Maul and Savage, perfect. Also, the Mandalore arc, and I actually like the underwater arc. Uh, the under, sorry, the underwater arc was super cool. Fire Strikes Back is up here because, you know, you know, it's the very iconic scene. Luke, I am your father. You know, that's very iconic in cinema history. Also, I like the duel with Anakin. I mean, no, Darth Vader and Luke. And, you know, I didn't like where the rest of the rebels just go off for some side mission. But, you know, I like Lando Calrissian. Boba Fett just, you know, was a, he didn't really do anything in this movie. But, anyway, this movie was really good. And it just is, like, a nice film to watch. And it's just my favorite, probably, out of the OG trilogy. This movie is actually pretty good. I put Force Awakens... It's actually I like this movie because it does resemble it does copy a new hope in so many ways. But I put it behind a new hope, but it's still really good. I'm also a big prequels guy, so if you notice, I put those up there. The main thing I have to say about the shows is that the shows have so much battles and so much things going on. That's why some of the shows are better than the movies, because the movies are you know, not enough stuff. But Mandalorian is here, you know, it's pretty good, but I w wouldn't say it's my cup of tea, you know. I like the girl goo Mandalorian things, the dark saber. But yeah, episode one is hard to decide because I do not like the tax things. I'll put it here, you know. Probably because the the Qui Gon Obi Wan Darth Maul fight just saves the day. If we're including the Kenobi show, it'd be like over here. But episode one, you know, I just. Guys, I'm gonna be hate for this, but I love Jar Jar. Jar Jar is just, he's just too good, guys. Anyway, also, the, besides the tread, the trade route taxation things and stuff, and, you know, the people like Luke Gunray and Padme we didn't really care about. Anakin, it was nice to see how his origin was in the game. But, you know, also, Rise of Skywalker was a knight, I guess. It's okay. Not the best, though. Um, I hate how they brought back Palpatine, so actually, I'm, I might put this down here. Because that just ruins all of Anakin's redemption. How come he died, but Palpatine got to survive? That's just so unfair. This is my ranking. Uh, hope you guys enjoy and agree. Also, my sister's ranking was she had Rebels uh, as her number two spot. And she also had Return of the Jedi as her number one spot. So that would be up here. So yeah, like and subscribe to the like button. See ya.